Hello friends, today I am going to talk about the name of expression in c -sharp. It's an important concept that was introduced in c 6.0. We'll see what c name expression is and how and when to use it in a c program. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Name of expression in c -sharp. What is name of expression? The name of expression enables us to evaluate the name of a symbol. We can use it whenever we need to use the name of a symbol as a text. For example, it can be used for a class or any methods, variables, properties or even constants. Okay, let's try to understand with the help of examples on over here. Here I have defined as a string learn and enjoy that has values. This is awesome YouTube channel to learn programming. Here in the next statement what I am doing, I am just going to use this name of expression. For that what I have done, I have written console.writeLine statement. I am just going to print this statement, the variable with name and then I have written name of learn and joy. So basically what I am trying to do over here is just going to evaluate the name of a symbol of learn and joy. Okay, so it will give the text and then holds the value. I am just going to print the actual value this variable contains. So this statement I have written with the help of name expression. Without the name of expression, we could write something like this console.writeLine the variable with name and then I'm just going to print learn and joy as it is and then holds the value and then here I'm just going to print the value what this learn and joy string variable contains okay so this statement is just going to return at the console window so these two statement I'm just printing into this console window and if you see this output this output got printed and both the statement in this output are the same the variable with name learn joy holds the value this is awesome youtube channel to learn programming similarly in the second statement this is the same output got printed the variable with name learn and joy holds the value this is awesome youtube channel to learn programming so you have seen how we are going to use this name of expression so you must be thinking why we are going with the name of expression right we can simply write this text over here and then we are ready to go right but we will realize its value when the situation comes. For example, if you see this benefits of the name of expression. So first, by using the name of the symbol will be renamed when the parameter is renamed through a refactoring operation. What does it mean is, so if there is any need for refactoring the code and we have already used name of expression, it would be easier for renaming the symbol, right? So that is the first benefit. Second benefit is any spelling mistakes in the name of parameter are caught by the compiler. Okay, let's see all these things in action in Visual Studio. Here we are in Visual Studio. Here we are going to see the demo of the name of expression. For that what I have done, I have created one console application name of demo and it has program.cs file. In program.cs file, we have class name program that has main method which is an entry point of this application. Here what I am doing, I am just writing this statement that I just want to print into this console window because I am just giving the demo of the name of expression. That's what I have written name of expression demo. So here what I have done, I have written one string variable learn and joy that has values. This is awesome YouTube channel to learn program. Then I'm just going to use the, this name of expression. For that what I have done, I have written this console.writeLine statement. The variable with name, name of learn and joy. So here basically I'm just going to evaluate the name of a symbol of learn and joy, right? And then I'm just going to print the value, holds the value. Learn and joy variable that is having the value that I'm just going to print into this console window. So this statement basically will get printed into the console window and in the next statement i have written the same statement but without the name of expression so here what i have done i have written this console.write line the variable with name and learn and joy i have written directly a string name holds the value and then learn and joy the variables values i'm just going to print into this statement so this is with name of expression and this one is without the name of expression if you see here I have written another console.write line statement. So here what I'm trying to do, I'm just going to use this name of expression for evaluating this symbol, system.collection.array list. This is the class name, right? System.collection.array list. So array list belongs to the system.collection name space, but I'm just going to print of the name of, of this symbol. So it is just going to print the array list. Okay. Okay. Let me execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. The name of expression demo got printed. The variable with name learn and joy holds the value. This is awesome YouTube channel to learn program. Similar next line also got printed. One, the first one it got printed with the help of name expression. And then second one is the without name of expression. 
and if you see i have written this statement console dot write line name of system dot collection dot array list and if you see this output i got printed as a array list right so this is the benefit of the name of expression that help us to evaluate the name of a symbol right and we have seen we have used for the class name we have used for the variable name also similarly we can use for the method name or constraint or properties whatever we wanted and wherever we wanted to use it as name as a symbol for the text right okay now that brings me to end of my session to sum up in this video we learned what name of expressions are in c sharp and how and when to use it in a c sharp program and finally we discuss the benefit associated with it that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video